In this video, I want to compare three of the most popular frontend frameworks. It's Angular, React and Vue. So if you are planning on learning some frontend framework, or maybe you already know one and you want to learn another, but you don't know what exactly, then this video is for you. Hi, I am Alexander Kocherhin from Monster Lessons Academy, where I am teaching you how to become a developer or improve your skills of being a developer in learning by doing way. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I will link everything that I am mentioning in the description box below. So let's jump right into it. The first question is what is framework and what is library? Why I am asking this? Because in the official website of React it says that React is a library and not a framework. And Angular and Vue both are saying that they are frameworks. So library is just a bunch of functions which help you to simplify your work. And framework is something bigger, it is the thing that will help you with some patterns, way of writing your code and basically even structuring your code in completely another way. Which means framework is something much bigger than a library, which changes the way how you are writing code. Now we need to check a little bit of history. What framework from these three was the first one? And the first one was AngularJS, it was more than 10 years ago and it became really popular. So it was like the first real framework which helps you to build full SPA applications. And then at some point when it became really popular, the guys in Google, because it was created in Google, decided to rewrite it fully in Angular 2. And they wanted to just improve architecture, but they created completely new framework. Which means Angular 2 and above doesn't have anything at all together with Angular 1. Migrating from Angular 1 to Angular 2 was not easy. And there were a lot of constant breaking changes, like from version to version. That's why people simply rewrote their Angular 1 applications in Angular 2, because Angular was so popular. Now, a little bit history of React. It was developed by Facebook and heavily used until now inside Facebook. Which means its API always was really stable, but it is a library, which means React by itself is only the view layer of your application. Now, with the introduction of hooks, you can have also managing of state inside React in a quite efficient way. But actually you still need a lot of additional libraries, for example for routing, for state managing, for working with API and so on. It's not that difficult, but you need to combine all these libraries together. So this is one of the cons of having a library and not a framework. And Vue was developed only by one guy at the beginning, and this guy was working before inside Google with using AngularJS. And his idea was to create something better and remove the things that he didn't like in AngularJS. And actually what he created, and he created Vue, was exactly how I think AngularJS should be updated inside Angular 2. Because basically the whole bunch of things which were good in AngularJS, he left inside Vue and he improved things that were slow. So this is why Vue is also popular and it is mostly supported now by Chinese companies. But still we don't have one big company which really uh, covers and uh, promotes Vue. This is why Vue is less popular than two others. And the next question is exactly regarding popularity. So here you can see some Google Trends and I compared here React, Angular and Vue. And as you can see Vue is really lower and React is growing much steadier than Angular and here at the last time um, people didn't like Angular that much as before. So basically here Angular was uh, overcoming React but not anymore. 
But of course, it doesn't mean that you can't earn money with it. Of course, you can. And popularity doesn't even mean anything. Of course, it means that people like it. But also, it means that companies are promoting some frameworks more than others. Of course, if you are promoting, for example, React much more than Vue, it would be um, more popular. And it doesn't matter what is written actually inside. Because basically, advertisement is always winning. The next question is learning curve, and on the first place is of course Angular, but from the bottom. Because Angular is the most difficult framework of these three. Because you need a lot of additional stuff to learn to manage Angular. For example, you are starting with TypeScript, then you need to learn RxJS, dependency injection, state management, NGRx, and much, much more. Also, you need to know how to build your applications without a build for production, so it's not that easy. And both Vue and React in comparison to Angular are somewhere on an easy level. It's a little bit easier with Vue because it's a framework and you get a lot of stuff like routing or working with forms or state management out of the box. But actually you can additionally install some libraries with React and you are getting almost the same. It doesn't mean that Angular is bad and you don't need to learn it, because uh, level of entrance means pros and cons. It is of course more difficult to learn Angular, but then you have less competition there, because not all developers want to learn something more difficult, if you have for example React. And also you can of course get more money by learning Angular. The next question is my actual experience. And this is a nice question because I built uh, the same application in all three frameworks. Why I did that? Because I made courses regarding building the application from start to the end with the same framework. So I used React with hooks, I wrote Angular with NGRX, and then Vue with Vuex. And what was interesting is that the most, the fastest way to build the application was with Vue. I spent less than maybe a week to build the whole application from start to the end with Vue. In React, it was maybe the time was doubled. It was not that difficult to develop the same code, but at the end with re-rendering, I spent a lot of time to debug some nasty bugs with re-rendering of React hooks. And the last one was Angular. I spent like more than a month to implement the application, not because the Angular is that bad, but just to describe everything with TypeScript and in Rix, it was really verbose and I had like hundreds of files there. Of course, I need to mention that I built all these three applications and these three courses uh, in a really scalable way. Of course, we could take shortcuts and make some easier solutions, but then it won't scale that much. So if you want, uh, go in the description box below and check my courses. I will link them there. The next question is actually my opinion on the framework. What framework I will recommend you to learn? And it's not the easy question because actually you can earn money with any of this framework. So first of all, I can recommend you to spend at least like three or five days and check all three frameworks, check some videos, guides and see how it looks like exactly at least the beginning, see some applications which are built with these three frameworks and then go and check the vacancies in your city or in your country. Because if your city is not that big and you don't have any vacancies of Angular and Vue and you have simply only React there like 90%, it doesn't make any sense to learn any other framework except of React. But of course, it's all the matter of choice. And if you learn even Vue, for example, it doesn't matter then to switch to other framework, you need to learn everything new. You can always apply like 6 to 70% of this logic uh, and what you learned to build uh, front end applications, just because this is in any case front end framework for building SPAs. I hope that this video helped you to choose the next framework to learn. And if you have some other pros and cons that you think are important, please write them down in the comments below.
And if you want to learn more about web technologies, go down below in the description box and I will link there all my other courses that I have. And if you like this video and you want to see more content like this, don't forget to put thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in my next video.